Michael. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Oh, my God, Doug. His name is my name, too. My name is Jared, and we are playing Live Lock today, and it is a top-down shooter where you are a robot. I'm going to explain it as quickly as I can. This you is the one where the, uh, the robot falls down and she can't get up. <laughs> you have many robots <laughs> available to you. Uh, there are three robots in total. There's the Vanguard, or as I call him, Mr. Punchy. Uh, Mr. Punchy, he, he punches. Um, he has guns. Does he kick? Why would you use guns when you could punch? Uh, we got the Hex. Hex is like a standard top-down shooter robot man, and he's got a gun. And then we have the Catalyst, who I have not played as because she's meant more as like a support class. And she's a woman, so why would she? She's a woman, so she's an inferior robot. Even as robots, they're... Hey, I, I got a question. Um, how does your class choice determine your romance options in the game? Uh, I'm pretty sure all of these guys can fuck each other in any way that they want. So you can be a gay robot? That's important. I I mean, look at this. You tell me that's not a gay robot? <laughs> Where's the transgender robot option? Look at that fucking guy. Yeah. That's a gay robot. Doug feels triggered. Yeah, well, I'm gay as shit, so here we go. Uh, Gun triggered. So I'll just play like the first level of the story. So it's an online game. There's no local co-op, which is a little weird for a top-down shooter. Um, but uh, because it's pre-release, we're probably not going to find a match. So I'm going to go ahead and just take us offline. Mm -hmm. How this will perform once the game comes out, I don't know. Uh, it's coming out on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. I'm kind of impressed with the amount of polish in this game. Does it come out on the Neo Geo? <laughs> it will not be out on the Neo Geo. Well, then, I'm not going to buy it. Uh, well, that is that is your prerogative, sir. Doug has saved a lot of money by not upgrading from the Neo Geo. I haven't bought anything that's not available on the Neo Geo. And why would he? I mean, all the games that we're playing, Samurai Spirits, Metal Slug. Samurai Showdown. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, Samurai Spirits is a different game, right? Uh, isn't it just the Japanese release? I don't know. Anyhow, we're not here to talk about Samurai Spirits, which is great. We're here to talk about uh, Life Alert. <laughs> which is, uh, what do you say, Jared? Is it great? Um, I mean, I'm impressed for being a game. Like, this literally just showed up in my inbox, and I didn't know it existed. Mm -hmm. And so, like, normally when that happens, when I just get a code for a game out of nowhere, you know it's going to be great. There's a sense of dread associated <laughs> with that. And I'm actually impressed with how much polish this game has. Who are the developers of this said game? I have no idea. I have not done my research. Uh, so right now I'm Mr. Punchy, and I'm going to start by punching that guy. That showed him. You did a good job. Uh, yeah. Uh, right bumper is a light attack, and right trigger is a heavy attack. But these guys are such chumps, I can just give them the old right bumper, and they'll just go right out. If I hold down the right bumper, I'll do a little charge attack. You see that? Um Right here, I am collecting these blue orbs are your XP, uh, and so those are going to let you level up at the end of the level. And uh, every level, I think you unlock an ability of some sort, so things are going pretty well for me in that regard. Um, I've got a lot of guys shooting at me right now. I can push A, and I'll load up this shield that reflects their own bullets back at them. So that's pretty... Kind of like a Jedi. Yeah, like a Jedi. That's pretty much... This is a Star Wars game. Oh. oh. Um, so are you just like cobbled together out of old pod racer parts? I'm Kyle Katarn. I'm just in a robot suit. Where's Qui-Gon? <laughs> Everyone's favorite Star Wars character, Qui-Gon. Well, I mean, Qui-Gon was in the best movie. Who's going to defeat yeah, all the I Jar Jar Qui-Gon is in the best movie, but that doesn't mean he's everyone's favorite character. I think we all know that everyone's favorite character is Padme. No, I like the, the Jewish bug monster. What? Greedo. Hey, what's your bush pasta? No, Doug, you're thinking Greedo is the one that Han Solo Greed, shot. which is what the the trait oh, the Jews exhibit. Oh. I'm not. Whoa, whoa, wait! Are you trying to say that George <laughs> Lucas is anti-Semitic? I need... think that's exactly what I said. Do we need to start this recording over no, again? This is great. This is gold. Who's, who's... Watto? That's, that's it. That was the Jew analog. Oh, that... the miserly junkyard owner. Yeah, I he, Republic him. credits aren't good there, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. But apparently games of chance, which have slaves' lives on the line, are. <laughs> so what do you guys think of my punching? I'm pretty good. I like the yeah. dancing you're doing. You like that dance? 
It's I tight. would like this game if it was more not top down. Do you want me to show you my gun? Sure. Maybe that'll change your mind. Look at that. Did you uh, see that? Yes. No, you, you get these uh, orbs periodically, or not orbs, but like these pyramids that I picked up here that uh, will overclock you. So right now I have a ballistic overclock, which makes me uh, do extra melee damage, which is a little waste because I'm not meleeing right now, so I should probably make that change. Oh, overclock, because you're a graphics card. No, because I'm a robot, and robots can overclock. God, you're dumb. He's overclocking his servos, moron. He's a dumb man. Well, I guess I'll leave. <laughs> uh, so, I already mentioned my shield that reflects bullets. Um, I also just used my, like, ground pound ability, which is tied to B. There are more abilities that I don't have yet. Actually, quite a few. Um, probably should have shaved your reflective shield for now. Uh, yeah, I'm just but waiting. I'm just going to back didn't. off a little bit and wait for it to recharge. Let everybody come at me. Come at me, bros. I don't even care. I could actually... I've leveled up a little bit. I bet I can just come in here and hit them without... Ooh, your, life, your life's not doing great. Yeah, but the thing is, is I have a uh, life leech ability, and so I actually gain life when I hit people sometimes. And you also have life alert, so, you know, if something you bad happens... If I fall down, I'll be fine. If you can't get up, yeah, someone will... If you're, <laughs> an agent will respond to your call immediately. If your hip joints get a little rusty, then they'll get you. So you'll see there's this SATCOM guy who keeps talking to me. Is he Galactos? The story in this game is that there was like a comet that was coming to hit Earth. And um, it, it, it was basically not going to like destroy Earth, but it would wipe out all organic life. Deep impact. So humans transfer their bodies into robots. Like we do. And, or transfer their consciousness into robots, rather. And then they set up this SATCOM guy up in space. His job is basically just to hang out. And then when the moment is right, he will work to bring organic life back to Earth. And so that's what I'm doing, is I'm helping to, like, get trees and animals and people. You know, get them all back. So you're saying the moment is right? The moment is right. The time is now. Okay, who are these guys trying to kill you? I don't know. They're evil comet monsters. They're like bad robots. Are you listening? They're communists. Aha! They're ISIS. The red menace. Uh, SATCOM is uh, a a little menacing in his appearance, and you'll notice his voice is kind of eerily calm. And I can't help but wonder if perhaps SATCOM is the bad guy. But for right now, the Collector here is the bad guy. And he's basically like, he sounds like a Reaper. And, well, yeah, uh, it's because the Collectors were a Reaper. He's a bad dude. Like, yeah, right. I, I'm probably just I'm probably just associating with it because of that name. But I'm pretty sure you've already picked it out. Collector's actually a good guy, and Satcom's a bad guy. So yeah, that's I... That's the twist. I do kind of wonder, oh my, oh my. Is that supposed to look this way? I gotta is... back up. Yeah, as you start to get fucked up... Uh, you kind of get into these situations here. So this is a not a boss, but a shielded enemy um, Or an upgraded enemy and he takes a little bit more. I'm gonna switch to my gun for him This game is very easy to recover health in you just kind of got to back it up a little bit And you'll start to kind of start feeling better So I got a little fucked up there, but pretty much lived without incident the outpost is and now I've completed my mission. Hmm. I think that the other class, the Hex class, is a little bit more indicative of what you expect from a game like this mm -hmm. as far as gameplay goes. Having said that, I find Mr. Punchy to be very endearing, and <laughs> I like playing as him more. Um, but I, I can't help but wonder if perhaps he doesn't... I, I don't know. Maybe doesn't represent what the what this game is like about a little bit. Mm -hmm. well, actually, let me ask. Uh, you just played level one, I presume, right? I think so, yeah. I think that's the first level. Did you have fun? I I just don't think... I don't know if I can have fun in this game. You know? It's like... Uh, um, it's like hanging out at a, a gay bar. Like, well, No, actually, that would be fun. Oh, what, yeah. What would it be like? Dude, go to a, yeah, yeah, go to a gay bar with a straight man. You're gonna have a great time. Yeah, actually, gay bar sounds great. Yeah, um, so there, it's gonna be all the hottest women, and there's gonna be guys who are like, "Hey, okay, here's what it is. You look palatable. Here's what it is. This is like church. 
I'm sure it does a lot for some people, <laughs> and that like they really enjoy it, and that they actually enjoy being there. I think some of them are lying and saying that they enjoy being mm-hmm. there. But for me, this just this just isn't my kind of game, really. If you identify as a top-down sexual, you'll <laughs> probably really like this game. Now, I mean, if if I was playing this with like my buds over the internet, that might change things a little bit. I don't know. We played Helldivers. Do you think we added any value to and your experience? If, if you like Helldivers, I think you'll like this game. Um, it's not as polished as Helldivers, I don't think. Mm-hmm. But I am really impressed, like I said, for a game that basically came out of nowhere to me. Um, I'm impressed with how much work has been put into it and and kind of the what they've done with it. Yeah, well, it made it looks pretty good. Like, nicely competent designed. competent enough. Yeah, for sure. Um, my biggest issue, though, is that it's a, it's a top-down shooter. <laughs> it's hard to look past that, isn't it? Right? big issue. Yeah. So this round, I'm going to be Hex, and I'm going after... Uh, what is he called? He's called, like, the... We must the, be sovereign. I'm rescuing that robot there. I forget his name. He basically looks like the, you know, the Boston Dynamics robots that they're always like kicking over. Do you know what I'm talking about? Big dog. Yeah, yeah. Um, Metal Gear Rex. Sure. Yeah. The, they look like dogs, but there's always... Johnny Five. We're getting further from what I was thinking of, but yes. If I need. Yes, he's Johnny Five. Oh yeah, I got a new gun with this one. I am Robot, starring Will Smith. Ooh, that's a cool gun. All right, time to drop some knowledge. Boom! <laughs> I like the punchy robot better. Go back to him. I do too. Uh, I just I don't know what it is about punchy robot, but it makes top-down shooters more fun. I find him to be really charming. Uh, this guy, he's harder to play. I, I might have more trouble because I'm so used to punchy robot. His special ability, he drops these mines. I'll show them to you in just a second. Matter of fact, right here is probably a good place to. And so, like, someone, if someone steps on those mines, they'll blow up. But it takes a lot to get people to walk on those sometimes. And I just want to, like... On kind of a wider tangent, um, when you play a game where you have, like, mines or traps, do you ever use those? No. In this game, I do. You do? Yeah, yeah. I, they're... Like, but... Like, right here is a great example where I would have rather had something that just hurt everybody instead of having all these mines left over that nobody <laughs> even used. Ooh, yeah, get that XP, baby. Baby, get that XP. Oh, let me shoot these What does boys. it mean to plasma burn? Um, so, like, I don't know if you saw, but when I was Mr. Punchy, I got into a, a lot of situations where... Um, I was leeching health from people, so when I punched them, I was actually taking a little bit of their health, too. So it's basically like an extra status effect. I think what the plasma burn does is after I shoot them, I still do a little bit of damage to them. Like you have residual, a dot effect. Residual damage. Yeah, a dot effect for the MMO nerds out there. That stands for damage over time, <laughs> for those that don't know. You get ready to see my AoE spell, fellas. What does the woman character do again? She's like a healer. She has oh, sexist. I don't know if she heals, but she's she's uh, got like a a drone that can like come with her. How come the female character can't punch? You know, Doug, you're saying that facetiously, but I think that's a good question. I would much rather have like a butch lesbian robot. Where's the Ronda Rousey robot <laughs> who's just <laughs> slugging away? I fear that I play as her. Hostiles will attempt to recapture the outpost. Holly Holmes robot. Yeah, Holly Holmes the robot. So tight. I generally like to think that I would use my women robots for other things. Why aren't the women robots used for repopulating baby robots? Michael, first of all, the real doll doesn't classify as a robot. Right, but this is in the future. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're not talking about your current. No. Your current situation. That's Obj, Derek. Say hi to Megan for me, by the way. Hmm? Yeah. Megan the real doll. Megan the real doll. Yeah. She is sleazy. That's pretty cool that they did one for you that looks like Rosie O'Donnell, though. Fuck you, Jared. <laughs> you wouldn't think that they would do that. You're joking, but Rosie is a, a very handsome I'm not woman. Joking. That's not a joke. Rosie's the best. She really has that uh, narwhal quality that men find attractive. Narwhal? Yeah. Rosie O'Donnell, more like Rosie, oh my boner is so big. <laughs> Call me Rosie. Rosie O'Donnell, more like Rosie O'Gonnell. 
That has gone all my sperm after I... Look, it was a sad day in my house when I found out she was a lesbian and she wouldn't want to take my seed. <laughs> As a I chick? I love you, Rosie. Excellent work. Yeah, man, Rosie, uh, you have she had a TV show Deployed and everything. To commence the I guess we'll like, talk just, about the game again. I don't like how calm Satcom is. Like, it's suspicious. He's so chill. You've played enough video games to know that the calmest person is the most evil. I, I I mean, I don't even know if I'll play enough of this game to, like, be able to get back to you and tell you whether or not my theory was right. But I am suspicious. Well, you're going to find out that uh, Satcom is actually hell. I mean, maybe he's just, like, a nice guy. What does Satcom spelled backwards say? Uh, what does it say? To Moktas. 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 <laughs> and I think that tells you everything you need that to know. That is awful suspicious. That sounds like a pretty evil name. What does Collector spell backward? Reckless talk. <laughs> you guys are better at this than me. You know what Jonathan Taylor Thomas says backwards is? <laughs> you don't have any idea. <laughs> it's Sam Moth. Raltate. Nothing large. <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. Fuck, man, he's way. pretty quick. I mean, he's pretty good at saying bullshit, but that's not right. <laughs> what do you think Sam, Jonathan Taylor Thomas is doing nowadays? He's uh, he's a robot, and he's shooting a bunch of other robots. Not well, in the good. game. Jonathan Taylor Thomas died for our sins. I think that's what the Bible says. Yeah, after after he acted in Huck and Finn. What did happen to old Johnny? Told JTT. Did he ever have a drug problem? I feel like he had a drug no, problem. No, I he he's like a really good boy, I think. What? He like dropped off the face of the earth, man. He probably got married. Yeah, he probably did. He's probably in like a loving, wonderful relationship with the girl of his dreams. What a douche. Yeah, what a sucker. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, right? He could be nailing some stranger in a bar bathroom right yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. Man, if I was JTT. I would be, be dro name dropping all over the place and getting strange. I'd be like, hey, hey, baby, you know who I know is Tim, Tim Allen. Allen. Tim Allen. Nothing drops panties faster than Tim you Allen. You know who could get us some cocaine, baby, is my friend Tim Allen. And I'm sure all the girls he's hanging out with are like, who's that? <laughs> yeah, Tim what thing. now? It's like, it doesn't mean anything to know Tim Allen anymore. So I was born in shit. 1998. I watched that so raven. Tim Allen, is he the guy who did 9-11? Are you the queer from Modern Family? It's the only TV show I know now. So this is, uh, I think this is the game's first boss, is Parallax here. And he's more interested in blowing up this, uh... He doesn't seem to care about you. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not super interested in me, which is kind of upsetting, because I'm pretty cool. And you're shooting him in the back. I would be yeah. concerned about someone shooting him. I mean, all he's doing is just, like, shooting the shit out of that van. Maybe you should shoot him, though. Yeah, actually, uh, they didn't do the, nearly this much damage to it last time. No way, because you're bad at this. Shh. I don't think I'm doing that bad. Parallax is apparently just kicking ass over here. Parallax, more like pair of idiot. Smooth, smooth, parallax. Pair of there sacks. We there we go. Kaboom. He's gone, he's gone now. You got a helmet. What does the helmet do? Um, so you'll just, you unlock, they're, they're listed as firmware, which is weird, kind of. Uh, but basically, they you can get just kind of like decorative items for your character to have. So like, uh, my Vanguard has a cape. And hmm. Hex here now has a helmet. What in the world does a robot need with a cape? Or a helmet. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a battle cape? I don't, not really. Uh, it's actually barely noticeable, I think. I feel like we are putting our human prejudices on these robots, and I don't like it. Right. Let's stop misappropriating robot culture. Let's see if my helmet's Yo. cool. I bet it's not. We should, well, we should at least look. Well, yeah, of course. So you come down here to firmware. Oh, what do you think? Is that cool? Dumb. Oh, I have two helmets. Looks like a little bear. Yeah, like a raccoon guy. Which of my helmets is coolest? The raccoon, obviously. This one? Yeah, no. go back to the coon one. Oh, that's like a lizard one. <laughs> This one? Very nice. No. This the bear. One. That one. There look you at go. you, you look. Aw, oh, look at me. Like a little fox skin. So yeah, anyway, I wouldn't expect firmware to be aesthetic upgrades, but that's what it is. Well, yeah, because firmware is software and the hardware is hardware. That's what yeah. it is. Um, Update your BIOS. Should I do one more level with my uh, Vanguard? Yeah, let's do one of these dumb cape. 
Try the lady robot. Yeah, lady robot. Okay, all right. You'll be returned to the main menu, sure. You have to like set it up, which is kind of weird. Huh. So I have to like come out down here and like pick a character slot. So you can roll multiple of the same character. I don't know if the game has skill trees or not though. Like I can't think of another reason why I'd want two vanguards. I don't know. I'm not mm. sure. So far, I haven't been able to make any choices in how I level up. Oh. Like, you just level up and here's what you get. But maybe later on, you can upgrade your weapons. So maybe that's what it is. Uh, I'll skip the tutorial. We'll just do the first level as... Well, we already saw the first level. Tutorial? More like boo-tutorial. The thing is, is she's level <laughs> one. So she's probably... You can do this. I don't even have her abilities, so I'm not sure that this will be great. Look, she's a woman. She can do anything a man can do. And, and better. She can't. And better. She's level one. <laughs> like, Are you trying to say that women are a lower level than men? No, what's your problem, by, Jared? By default, no. We all start at the same level. Uh, no. Yes, exactly. So she should be just as good as a male character. Whoa, I've got like a beam. Jared, there's, there are lady Ghostbusters now. So I know, it's a brave new world. Clearly, equality has been achieved. They aren't afraid of no ghosts. Because now all of our good things have been ruined. And, I mean, we all know the old classic Fallout Boy Ghostbusters theme song by now. Oh, yeah, they did do the theme song, didn't they? They ain't afraid of no ghosts. I think Fallout Boy's a little afraid of ghosts. I think they're more worried about it than they let on. Uh, Someone's breaking your house, Jared. Yeah, it's fine. Let them come is, in. This is the last enemy I podcast the slime <laughs> video because we're about to get murdered in our, in our video chamber. I have nothing Quickly. of value there. Welcome to come get whatever. Quickly, call the lifeline. Oh, God, call I guess center. this computer could be valuable. When they cut our heads off, they'll post the video on live leak. Oh, my God. I mean, Here comes the you, ISIS. That is where you post a video of you cutting someone's head off. Oh, Akbar. I thought you put it, put it on the vines. I don't know that this is compelling uh, gameplay. Wow. Like it, it just doesn't feel any different. Well, we already spent 30 minutes doing it. Because so. it's your drone. You have to level up, I think, to, to really oh, get anything. So it's kind of like Final Fantasy uh, 12, where you have to play through 30 hours of the game before it gets good? No, you level up pretty quick in this oh, okay. game. Okay, good. But the problem is, is you don't level up until the level's over. So well, that's a bummer. Uh, this is pretty much all you get, is you just get to see like my slightly different gun. I actually, I like her beam weapon more than the main guy's weapon. Um, it does less damage, obviously, but you don't have to be quite as precise with aiming. Mm -hmm. You just so. spray and pray. Yeah, pretty much. That's how I like to play these games. Call me crazy, but... Uh, we really do care about women here at the Enemy Slime, we promise. At the enemy slime. Yeah, right right before we came and recorded this, we had a, a very long conversation about women's roles and rights within our society. And how we could make them better. That's why we've hired our first female editor. Cynthia Jones. Cynthia Jones. Who incidentally sounds like a uh, Argentinian man. Yes, she. You'll notice that she sounds <laughs> yeah. a lot like Lucio. Yeah, she but does. But she's different. Whoa, whoa, whoa! They they sound like different people. Just maybe to you know, the, the untrained uh, eye. Yeah, ear. I think to a native English speaker, they're gonna seem identical. I mean, if if someone was to like apply their cultural bias and their white privilege, yeah, they would sound the same. But right. I think if you have a flair for Latin, right? And if we keep referring to the female as Lucio, that's totally normal. Yeah, she's right. okay with it. Yeah, she didn't mind. She, she likes being acknowledged as one of her. Is her peers. Peers. Her most favorite peer. Yes. <laughs> but don't worry, we'll have Elizabeth back on the podcast soon. Yeah, she'll be she'll be back too. You tell her we say hi. She was in the Poconos. <laughs> Ooh. Vacationing? Uh no, she's there for work. Oh, okay. What kind of work? Uh, she, McDonald's sent her to work. No, not McDonald's. She puts together rafts <laughs> for right river rafting. In the Poconos? In the Poconos. It, it, people don't know this, but that's a, a hotbed for white river rafting raft manufacturing. I believe it. I wouldn't lie. Okay. Anyone who have ever listened to the podcast knows I don't lie. 100% right. true. 
That's enough of life lock, I think. Uh, so... Did you love it? It looks like we have their attention. Um... Okay, that's it, folks. I like, I like the part where we sang the Moss Eisley Cantina theme. Thanks for joining us today. If you like top-down shooters, I'm sure you already know this. And yeah, you're probably, probably like, you're probably, like, psyched for this, so... I mean, I don't know if I see anything in here that draws me in as a non-top-down shooter lover. Yeah. But yeah, it's fine. I it's see, not good. It's not good enough to convert you though. I've seen no. worse. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So if you'd like to see worse, maybe uh, come check us out at enemyslime.com. You know what could have helped is co-op, couch co-op. Yeah, mm. couch co-op could have made a difference. I think a comfortable couch wouldn't have been bad either. They don't seem super concerned about it though. Like I, I saw the developer posting on Steam. It just it, it doesn't sound like it's a priority for them at all. <laughs> so anyway. Well, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you Watch next time. Watch the podcast.